When it comes to buying the right products, there's a lot to look out for. That's why today, we've picked and reviewed the five best models for you. And we've ranked them by many different factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and more. You can see their prices and find out more information by using the links in the description down below. Let's not waste any more time and get started with the video. This next option is one of the best sounding models out there. Number 5. Polk Audio Signa S2 Polk Audio is a known and respectable brand when it comes to audio equipment, and while they have created their fair share of premium quality products, they're also very famous for all their budget-friendly ones that have the characteristic of not compromising their performance with their aggressive pricing. One such product claims to be the Signa S2 soundbar, which is their latest offering in the Signa series and a direct successor to the previous Signa 1 soundbar. While Polk Audio nowhere officially states how many channels the Signa 2 supports, it's pretty clear we're talking about a 2.1 channel soundbar, and as such the package includes the basic unit along with a wireless subwoofer. The size of the main unit measures 35.43 by 2.15 by 3.22 inches, or 89.99 cm by 5.46 by 8.18 cm, and weighs 3.96 pounds or 1.8 kilograms, making the Signa S2 a really compact and lightweight soundbar which makes placement so easy even if your space is extremely limited. Similarly, the included subwoofer has a compact footprint as it only measures 6.72 by 13.4 by 12.2 inches or 17.07 by 34.04 by 30.99 centimeters, and it weighs 11.46 pounds or 5.2 kilograms, making it easy to find some empty spot on the floor to place it. Keep in mind that low cost is first priority here, so don't expect anything fancy in this regard. Even so, Polk Audio did manage to make some improvements compared to the Signa S1 by adding an HDMI port with ARC functionality. HDMI is the most commonly used port in today's home theatre equipment, so having at least one seemed like a necessity, and Polk Audio did give us that. The limited number of features and options surely help with that, and even if this is your first audio equipment, it shouldn't take you more than a few minutes to have it up and running. The Sigma S2 gives a new meaning to what plug and play means. Obviously, there will be people that want more options and settings in order to calibrate the sound as good as possible, but this is not the goal of this soundbar. Its goal is to provide a better audio experience without the need to trouble yourself with any calibrations at all. Closing, we'll say that if you're looking for a dead cheap soundbar that can hold its own and be compact enough and easy to use, then there's no better choice than the Polk Audio Signa S2. Moving on, we have the best model under the $100 price tag. Number 4. Creative Stage 2.1 Soundbars are a popular way to improve on your TV's built-in speakers, but in the PC world, a pair of chunky stereo speakers still sit on many desks. Creative Stage 2.1 hopes to be an upgrade to those speakers, offering a good range of inputs as well as a subwoofer for that all-important shotgun bass kick. The bar is short, barely as wide as a 24-inch 16-9 screen, meaning you don't get as much stereo separation as you would with discrete speakers, and while the total peak output of 160 watts sounds good, most of that is accounted for by the sub, leaving only 20 watts each for the ends of the main unit. That's not bad for something you'll be facing directly and be within arm's reach of, however, but don't go expecting this soundbar to double as a living room system, it's just too small, although the lack of width and depth will be helpful to those with tight desk arrangements. This is most definitely a computer speaker. That cable is the only one you'll run for the sub, which doesn't have its own power supply. The base speaker is tall and thin, rather like a PC case itself, with a base reflex port at the bottom. It has no controls on it, everything in this system is handled by the remote. There are basic on-off input switching and volume controls on the end of the speaker along with the USB port, but that's it. Creative has been a long-standing fixture of PC sound equipment, from 8-bit ISA cards in the late 80s onwards. This soundbar system is a solid attempt at turning your PC into a great-sounding entertainment machine, especially at the price. Creative stereo speakers in this price range, such as the T12 wireless, lack some of the stage's inputs as well as missing an entire subwoofer, and can't produce the same thickness of sound. This soundbar, while not perfect, is definitely a good example and balance of price versus features versus sound versus size versus versatility.
If you're looking for a mid-range model, then this next pick is a great option. Number 3. JBL Bar 2.0 Moving on, we have the JBL Bar Studio 2.0. This soundbar is an excellent budget option if you want to upgrade your TV speakers. It has a solid and punchy sound, plenty of bass, decent details and a good range of features. Its only disadvantage is that it hardens slightly at higher volumes, but that's a minor problem. Otherwise, it's one of the best soundbars in the market, no doubt. It has a very nice design and the build quality is top-notch too. It can slot under most suitably sized TVs without appearing undernourished, and it has been crafted to JBL's usual high standards of quality and aesthetic modernity. You should know that the JBL Bar Studio 2.0's size restricts the scale of its sound, with drivers that are kept to two tweeters and a single woofer. If you want to switch on the sound more, you just need the included credit card remote, which is easy to operate. That looks like a regular TV remote, which is for easy source switching and controlling other things like the bass level. If you listen closely, you'll notice that the bass on the JBL Bar Studio 2.0 is just amazing. It has a very punchy and relatively rich bass. It has an 80 watt total system power, and you can enjoy wireless music streaming via Bluetooth from a mobile or a tablet. The low end reach is a suggested 70 Hz, which equates to enough depth to impart some of the scales of cinematic effect. The LF output of the JBL Bar Studio 2.0 integrates well with mid range details for a smooth balance. This is a nice and important feature because there are no user EQ options. It's one of the best soundbars in the market, and if you're looking for one of the best, make sure to take a look at the JBL Bar Studio 2.0 and see if it fits you best. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner up. For this list. Number 2. Yamaha YAS109 One of the most interesting qualities of the Yamaha YAS109 is that it delivers Alexa and Spotify Connect built in, Wi Fi, and different sound modes too. However, the biggest selling point of this soundbar is its amazing sound quality that managed to impress everyone. I can comfortably say that the Yamaha YAS109 has a beautiful and well thought design. It's pretty minimal, and you'll forget about it, which is the thing that many soundbar manufacturers forget. A soundbar is placed under the TV in 98% of the cases, and if it has a flashy or eye catching design, it means it's not a good device, in my opinion. Closer up on the device, you'll see the indicators for volume, source select, digital surround sound, and clear voice feature of the company that's designed specifically to allow you to hear every word that they're saying on screen. There you'll also spot a button for activating Alexa without the wake word from the two microphones that are located in the body. The remote control of the device is pretty simple as well and delivers a pleasant experience. I have no complaints about that either. The built-in Alexa feature is one of my favourite features and combined with the Spotify Connect feature you can have plenty of fun with it. In terms of connectivity, it has HDMI ARC port and a second HDMI input that's great for consoles for example. It has different video and audio features such as the Dolby Pro Logic 2, DTS Digital Surround and DTS Virtual X technology that all elevate the whole sound quality. The sound performance is the smoothest you can get in the budget range and it works flawlessly both with movies and music. Combined with a nice subwoofer, you have yourself the perfect setup. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. Vizio SB3821C6 Soundbars are one of the best ways to improve your living room's audio performance significantly, and most of these devices are pretty affordable and deliver great value for their price. I highly recommend them for every enthusiast. First up, we have the Vizio SB3821C6, which is a great entry-level soundbar that delivers super solid sound quality and is coupled with a wide range of features. The manufacturer has delivered a large number of soundbars in the past, and the Vizio SB3821C6 has been the definite best, and you can see by a large number of ratings of Amazon nearing the 4000 mark. Most tech manufacturers opt for provocative and eye-catching designs for their budget projects as a way to mask the lacking performance of their products. Vizio has not gone that way though, opting for a minimal and simple design with clean and refined lines on its body. Black cloth wraps the grille of this device beautifully and the side panels are made out of the brushed aluminium texture. The subwoofer is made that way as well with its boxy cuboid shape which is pretty classy. The whole installation process of this soundbar is pretty easy and you have the freedom to place the subwoofer wherever you want and the cables won't ruin your whole setup. 
In the performance department, the Vizio SB3821C6 is armed with a pair of 2.75-inch drivers and the compact 5-inch woofer, which combined pump out about 100 decibels of sound, adequate for mid-sized rooms. This light and small package is capable of doing so much, and the wireless subwoofer takes things to another level for convenience and performance. This is essentially a 2.1 system, and it does its task perfectly, and during testing I noticed the drivers delivered some clear mids coupled with adequately sharp highs to top off the subwoofer does pump out thick and rich bass. However, it couldn't go as deep due to its small size, but it stopped at about 50 Hz. The Dolby features do a perfect job for sharpening things up and clear the dialogues. The best feature was the transition from quiet to louder and that's dampened, so you don't get a shock. Buying Guide Firstly, size. Aesthetically speaking, your new soundbar shouldn't be any wider than your TV, and in a perfect world, both are the exact same size for an even look. However, you can technically pair a soundbar with just about any size TV, so when it comes to size, use your discretion. Just make sure your TV has the right connectivity to hook up your new soundbar, especially if your TV is 8 years or older. Secondly, connections. For the most part, you'll need just one cable to connect a soundbar with your TV. Some soundbars rely on optical cables, which work fine, but HDMI is preferred. The HDMI interface supports more audio formats than does optical, which effectively means you'll get higher quality sound that's more immersive with HDMI. Additionally, HDMI ARC, Audio Return Channel, is a protocol that appears on most newer soundbars with HDMI connections. This allows the television and soundbar to more easily exchange information, including the ability to route TV to the video and route sound from the TV, all over a single connection. It also often allows you to control the volume and power with a single remote. Number 3. Bluetooth and Whole Home Audio Soundbars are increasingly being used for listening to music as much for listening to TV. This is especially true in smaller houses or condos. A majority of new soundbars support Bluetooth streaming from your smartphone, tablet or computer, making it quick and easy to hear your Spotify or other music on a bigger speaker. However, more sophisticated options exist. Sonos, Denon Hios, Blue Sound, Bose, Yamaha and many others offer soundbars that can be linked to whole home wireless music systems over Wi-Fi. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.